Hi, Zach Pater here at River Valley Marina, River Valley Power and Sport in Red Wing, Minnesota. What a beautiful boat to, to walk you through today here. This here is an 03 Larson 274 Cabrio. Very good looking boat, selling it for a private party here. Just wanted to give you a quick video walkthrough. A little bit on the outside of the boat, it's got fresh bottom paint, looks very nice, very clean. It does come with the tandem axle trailer, easy load trailer, uh, very nice setup. Does have a full canvas enclosure, a bow, a uh, cockpit cover, I'm sorry, not a bow cover. Just an overall good looking setup. You can see the outside of the boat's not all scratched up or beat up or anything to that effect. Nice stainless steel rub rail, nice big stainless steel bow rails, spotlight up front. It's got a uh, fender rack sitting up there. Does not have a windlass anchor, but it does have a pulpit where the anchor can be mounted there. Take a walk down the port side here, and again, just nice, clean, crisp. That good looking bottom paint job on the boat. Some simple graphics, but yet they look nice. Nice big Larson badging down the side of it. Just a uh, overall sharp looking package. Work our way to the transom here. You see you got a nice big swim platform. This boat is powered by a 5.7 liter GI fuel injected Volvo with the dual prop. Does have a transom shower on the back, nice stainless grab handles, your shore power plug-in, and if you are into water sports, there is a ski tow eye, or you could pull somebody on a tube. And it does have a nice four-step stainless steel boarding ladder as well. So let's take a jump inside of the boat and take a closer look. All right, we're up inside. Take a look at the amount of seating in this Larson. This is a great, great setup. Very clean, very well kept. The seats are in great shape. Does have a little uh, wet bar here in the back with an ice box. You have side steps here to get on and off the dock. Nice stainless uh, grab rails. There's storage underneath the seat here. Very big transom seat. Nice wraparound combings for the backrest. Cup holders, Clarion stereo. Work our way forward. You got this big chase lounge. Again, the seats are just in great shape. I don't know if video is gonna really catch that, but they're very, very well kept. Love the uh, molded in steps into the door to go through the walkthrough windshield. Flip the window open and you can easily access the bow of the boat. One thing kind of unique about this boat is how big and flat the front deck is. Very easy to walk around if you're uh, up there to grab tie lines or mooring lines, uh, going through lock and dams or going to the beach. Nice and easy to walk around that deck. Back inside the cockpit here, again, a nice big double wide driver's seat or captain's seat. It does have a flip up bolster as well. Simply flip it up and you give yourself a nice amount of leg room and the ability to sit up a little bit higher. Take a look at the dash here. You'll see you got tilt wheel. It's very clean, very crisp, nice and easy to, to look at everything. You've got a compass mounted up top, your depth finder in the middle, all your uh, basic array of gauges with oil pressure and fuel and voltage and temp, uh, RPMs and so on. Down below, you've got rocker switches for your lights. Trim tabs are easy to access. Throttle and shift easy to access. And the boat is yacht certified. So that kind of walks us through the cockpit and we'll take a walk down inside the cabin. All right, we're gonna take a walk inside the cabin of this 274 Larson as it is absolutely beautiful. Take a look at this. Got beautiful upholstery, beautiful headliner, beautiful cabinetry. Very nice carpeting. It's got a wood floor right in the galley area here, but a lot of nice room inside this boat. Uh, lots of headroom, just a very cool setup. Now in the front here, you can put a table up and it can be made into a full bed. Simply pop in the table and you've got a nice big area to sit around and eat dinner or play some cards. Just a very nice big wood table that they made for the boat. And then, like I mentioned, you can fill this in to be a sleeping area as well. And then to make it into a sleeping area, simply slide the two filler cushions in, and uh, you got a very nice, big forward berth. 
take a quick look this way and you've got a very nice galley setup. It's compact, but it but definitely works. Nice counter space. You get storage up above the microwave, sink, your cooktop, refrigerator, compact, easy to use. Um, just a nice setup for about this size. Work our way towards the mid cabin. You notice it's big, it's open. All your uh, controls for your breakers and air conditioning are right there. The entrance, nice, big, and open. And the uh, mid cabin itself is very big. I don't know how well that's going to show on video, but it is a very, very sizable mid cabin for a 27 foot cruiser. And of course, we can't leave the cabin without taking a look at the head. You'll see here it's got nice faucets, stainless sink, all fiberglass lined. You got a towel bar, mirror, light. Just very clean and very crisp. Looks like a very easy head to keep clean. Does have an exhaust fan. Just a good looking overall setup. So before I left you today, I wanted to make sure that you saw the full canvas enclosure on this boat as it is very, very nice. A few things that you might not be able to notice in video. The back screens here on the sides, along with the full back piece, has screens. On top of the screens, it actually has dark panels that can roll down. Uh, so if you want to keep all the sun out, you can. Um, just kind of a really cool full canvas enclosure package on this boat. Definitely uh, a very noteworthy piece of the whole product there. Again, I'm Zach Pater here at River Valley Marina, River Valley Power and Sport in Red Wing, Minnesota. I appreciate you taking the time to view this Larson. If you have any questions or want to set up a time, please give me a call, text, or email. Be glad to answer any questions you have. Thank you again and have a great day.